spend in Alabama's great outdoors, the more likely you are to encounter young wildlife. In the summer and even into the fall months in our state, you are possibly going to find a young white-tailed deer. These fawns could be found in a field, in the forest, in a park, or even in your own backyard. When people find baby deer, they often think that they have been abandoned. However, just about 100% of the time, this is not the case. White-tailed deer leave their babies alone for the majority of the time. They only visit their fawns two, maybe three times a day to nurse them, and the rest of the time the fawns are hiding in a secluded, quiet, and protected place. They stay hidden, that way they don't attract attention from animals that may want to harm them. They lay there quietly, and only occasionally does their mom come back to feed them. Oftentimes when people find fawns, they think that the deer are abandoned. Just because you don't see the mom doesn't mean that the doe isn't nearby. If you find a fawn in your yard or in the forest, the best thing to do is to leave it alone. Oftentimes the fawn is laying very still. Because it's so still, you may think that it's injured or abandoned or extremely hungry and starving. However, this is just an adaptation that the fawns use to stay inconspicuous to predators. These deer are not in need of help. Other times you may encounter a fawn that is up and walking. It may be bleating and it may even try to follow you. In those cases, it's still best to leave the fawn alone. If the fawn continues to try to follow you, make it lay down. You can use your hand to press on the back of the fawn's shoulder blades and force it to lay down. That is what the doe would do if she was trying to keep the fawn safe from danger. If you have already touched the deer or taken the fawn home, take it back. It is a myth that animals will reject their babies if they've been touched by humans. If you can't put the fawn exactly where it was, because maybe it was inside of a fenced yard or in a playground under some equipment, you can move the fawn within about 100 yards into a nearby area, into a brushy, secluded spot, make it lay down, and leave. Its mother will come back and tend to it. These deer are naturally hidden in Alabama's forests for many months out of the year. And after they get a little bit older, they'll start following their mom and spending more time with her. But when they're first starting out their life, they are quiet, they are hidden, and if you find them, they are not abandoned and rescue is not required.